So let's have a look if what on earth is happening. Greetings! Welcome back. I've got the bit. Tungsten carbide engraving bit. Beautiful this thing. Really sharp, really hard. Let's mount it in the pantograph and see what we can etch with it. Or not etch, um, engrave. I've made a little PCB in KiCad. Uh, this is enlarged 3 to 1. It's a simple thing, there isn't much on there. It's a simple circuit that I'm planning on using later on. I've got here a few different features like thermal reliefs and different spacing between some of the tracks just to see um, how will it work out with engraving it. I've got it all set up over here. Uh, I used a filler gauge, 0.1 millimeter, to set it up uh, by putting it under here and dropping the bit, then putting it under here and back and forth. Uh, but eventually I got it so it's within 0.1 millimeter across the entire surface of the PCB. After the uh, first bit I'm seeing, I've set it up just a tad too shallow. And I've changed my weapon now to a 0.8mm drill bit, so I can hopefully go through and drill all the holes. But that didn't work, and yeah, I know why, because uh, I've got the bit extended quite a distance away from the chuck, and it makes it want to travel around. It made a funny pattern on the trackpad over here. So to combat this what I'm going to do is take a carbide tip scribe and just put a tiny little hole on the center of each pad. Actually if I'm gonna do it this way I might as well drill the holes in a drill press. Okay, that looks okay. Now let's clean it up. Now for cleanup I found that just a wire brush actually does the trick. Here it is. So as you can see it turned out uh, not too bad I guess. Some of the thermal reliefs could have been done a little bit better and I've gone a little bit wonky in few places. Here is um, a part where I've removed a large amount of copper in between the trucks just to see how that's going to work out. Those bigger reliefs worked out a lot better than the tiny ones. I think I'm going to learn from this experience and optimize the board in instead of routing trucks 
I think it would work much better with connecting planes. So instead of um, routing tiny truck individual, I could just have uh, just copper islands connecting everything and just route in between the islands. That would work, I guess, uh, quicker. It would be a lot less routing. The trucks would be thicker in a lot of the places. The thinnest truck I think I got on this board is around here, and that's unintentional. You know, they were all meant to be one millimeter thick, but when I was routing, I went a little bit on the outside edges, and that resulted in trucks a little bit thicker. In some places, they are as much as uh, three millimeters thick. But um, here on the left, this is uh, yeah, this is just under one millimeter in the in the corner, and I think I wouldn't go much thinner than this. So I'm gonna try here something different, something new. So what I've got in this bottle here is some fast dry enamel. It's just a spray enamel like this plastic coat, and yeah, it sticks on really well and it dries relatively fast but I spray it to this little bottle over here it's just a bottle after Aegis what's uh whoa no do not make a mess my intentions are to all the fill all the voids that uh, all the holes that I've routed out to fill them up with the green green solution and then sand it flush with the surface of the board that should make for a interesting looking PCB. So let's have a look if... What on earth is happening? Okay, this enamel seems to be fizzing constantly. As soon as I turn the bottle around, it will fizz out. So, another way to do this is to use a little brush, which I haven't got one right now. So, I'm just going to take a little bit of tissue paper wet it in the enamel uh, no that doesn't work either okay that uh, that worked This is, this is turning out a little bit more messy than I anticipated. I'm not sure why this enamel just wants to desperately escape from the bottle as soon as I turn it upside down. Okay, I think that's gone everywhere. And there we go. That's a finished board. It's a rather funky looking board, I guess, with all that green... I think it looks interesting, something different. Now I had to give the enamel quite a bit of time to dry up. It, uh, yeah, over an hour it was sitting, waiting to, to dry. And yeah, after it did, I just sanded with a small piece of sandpaper the, the top cover. And there we go, that's what I'm left with. So I will be using this board. It's It will be interesting to see how will the enamel hold up to high temp temperature right next to it. It's not a high temperature enamel, but uh, we'll see whether it will just discolor or whether it will retain its greeniness. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for joining me and watching this video. Please do share, like and subscribe as you please. For the time being, take care.